Have you got a build-up of green algae in your garden, on your patio or on your walls like this? There is a build-up of green algae and green growth along this brickwork and along the edge of these slabs. And there's a real bad build-up of green algae and green growth on the brickwork on the garage. So as you can see, this is the worst affected area of fencing. And this is north facing, so it doesn't get much sun, which probably explains why there's such a build-up of this green moss and green growth. So, normally I would use a pressure washer to clean it off. However, I don't want to damage the fence and I definitely don't want to take any of this paint off. So today on Fix It With Fowler, I'm going to be trying this wet and forget mold, lichen and algae remover so you don't have to. So the main reason I've chose this wet and forget is the simplicity of use and the fact that you don't need any scrubbing or jet washing once you've applied it. So to apply it, all you need to do is mix it to a ratio of five to one, but you can make that stronger for stubborn areas and staining. Then all you do is spray it onto the surface and leave it and let the rain gently wash it out, off over a period of time and that should clean it. However, there is some precautions to take. So what are the precautions with this? So on the screen, you can see that I've put the label on to show you some of these problems. So it can cause serious skin irritation, causes serious eye damage, and it's very toxic to aquatic life. Also, if you've got pets or animals, then the area that you treat, you need to keep them off it until it is fully dry. So before you start mixing this, I'd recommend applying your PPE. I've got gloves and glasses to protect my skin from any splashes. So I've gone for a pressurized container and I think that will make it really easy to apply to any areas we want. So what I'm going to do is on the side, it's actually got gauges to tell you how much is in there, which will make mixing it really easy. So I'm going to mix it in a five to one ratio. The first area I'm going to spray is the front of these bricks and the leading edge of these slabs. I've got a watering can with some water in and that'll allow me just to wash off any, any bits of grass where I get this on. So this is all pumped up, ready to go. And now I can just apply it. And now we'll go to the next bit. And I definitely don't want to cause any damage to the mortar around the brickwork. So now I need to leave that to dry for about four hours and then we can let nature take its course. And then what we'll do, we'll come back and check it in probably a week's time and see if we've got any results. So this is the wet and forget a week on. Now this was the worst area of this fence. And as you can see, what it's actually doing is it's turning the green growth and algae into like this weird white powder. Now in places, the paint is actually, well, it's actually come off. The wet and forget has not took it off, but I think the algae has took it off. So what we'll do, we'll just leave it for another week and then I'm gonna rinse it off with a hose and we can see what the results are gonna be like. So here we are two weeks later and you can already see that this has started taking effect especially around these areas. Now it does say that you can leave this and just let nature take its course and the rain gently wash this off and it should come up really good. But because I'm impatient and I want to see the results, I've decided that I'm going to wash it off like it says you can. So you just wash it off with a standard hose, you don't need a jet wash. So we're gonna wash off the three different areas, this bit here, the bricks on the garage and the fence on the front. Then once it's dry, we can come back and have a look at the results. So as you can see, there's already an improvement here and this has not been washed off and this gets very little rain. So we'll rinse this off and again, we'll come back once it's dry.
So now onto the worst bit, and this was this area of fencing. So we're going to rinse that off, wait for it to dry, and then come back and see the results. Have you subscribed to my channel? Well, if not, why not? It does not cost a thing. You're missing out on loads of great content. If I'm not making things like this, I'm fixing shed roofs, I'm mending doors, windows, doing plumbing or electrics. You name it, I've got it on my channel. So head over, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to leave this video a comment and a thumbs up, and that will help it reach loads of other people. So as you can see, that's come up really well. I'm really pleased with that. And now let's go and check the other two areas. So there's a real big improvement here, especially on the engineering brick in between the mortar. That's come up really good. So I'm really pleased with that. So this was the worst affected area along this bottom rail of the fence. And it's come up really good just with the rinse off. And I think really over time that can only get better. In areas there's a bit of paint come off, but this has probably been about three years since I've painted this. So that's really to be expected. There's a few bits that I've not rinsed off that I've missed that I'll have to come back and do that. But overall, I'm really happy with the results. So I hope you liked the video, found it informative, and I'll see you soon.